everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we'll discuss about that uh, mobile agent development so mobile agent development is a application which runs in your mobile for the agent you can see the incident change problem whatever you want to see so this is for only for the mostly for the agent there are two more application one is the on mobile another is that onboarding application so we'll talk about mostly on the agent uh, mobile development so let me show you that what are the steps you need to be performed to configure uh, the mobile agent and in the next session we will deep diving on that mobile agent application okay so let's start without wasting the time so first you have to type the studio in your left side application and then uh, you have to open the studio and create a new application for the mobile apps so let's create a new apps call uh, So I am going to put the name as a agent mobile app. So this is my application name here I the description I can put that and here I can upload the image. So that's how the normal process to create an application. Once you click the create option, so there will be one asking for the role. So what roles that application will be accessible. So we are going to create a call the mobile. So the people who have the mobile role, who, who are going to have the mobile role, they will be able to access this application. And then there are three options available. One is the workspace um, application, another for the mobile, and the third is the classic. So as we are uh, working on the mobile agent, we have to choose that mobile one and then click the next. And the next you have, we have to create a table or we have to choose the existing table. So in this case, we are not going to create any table. If you, know, to, um, if you want to interact with that um, if you want to create a new table you can definitely create a new table but we don't need to create any new tables we are going to use the task table so that we can uh, uh, interact with the problem change and cmdbci okay maybe we will use that cmdbci table Once you're done with the table, you have to click the start the application and then it will be start a, uh, it will be create one more application before you create the application. It will show a preview that what are the things it, it is going to do. So you are, it is showing that there will be one application and uh, mobile application and this will be the icon and all those stuff. So let me maximize the screen and click the create option. So now you have to click the done with the apps, it will be create one application for us. So now you can see the agent mobile application is ready. So first very first things as we uh, remember that we have to create one more application or one more thing called uh, the studio and select the mobile app and create some template. So you can see um, there are few things already predefined created once you choose the table name. Uh, first thing is that you can see uh, the applet is created for that configuration item and then applet launcher is created and uh, also there are few more thing called um, it's automatically created we are going to do all those stuffs from the scratch so this is that um, applet is created for mobile by default uh, out of box we are going to create the new things everything from uh, the new okay so to do that um, I am just clicking the create a new application and then first thing is you have to do that create a uh, applet applet is nothing but a application like that in a Android phone there are there could be multiple application right similarly applet is one of the call the application so we are going to create an application call um, um, application ci something like that so first we have to create the applet search with the applet and then uh, you have to uh, see this uh, right side the mobile studio so these are the application for the mobile studio i am joined i'm going to select the applet and click the create so it will help you me to create a new applet and i am going to see all these uh, con uh, all these application ci so i'm going to create a new applet 
So once you select the table, the existing table configuration item, there is a automatically by default provided one configuration item by default created for you. So I'm going to create a new one, new applet called um, application CI. So this will help me to uh, bring all this application CI. Now in the description you can put the lot of uh, few description that's not a problem. The icon you can select the icon and the color. So we are going to select one application. So uh, let's select one application something like that. Uh, and the color we can choose that this one. So this will be our icon. And here is the template, so the few template. So we are going to we are we want to see all this list of application. So we, we can we have to select the list. So list and the form there is a small difference. So when you can see that the lot of um, CI you can see. And if you select the form, only the particular form you will be able to see. But in the list, there is a in associate one form. If you check that, uh, see list is basically list and form. So when you select the list, it will also bring a form and there will be one auto predefined checkbox. So you have to just check that, uncheck if you don't want to get the form. So I am not checking, unchecking that. So I am going to use the list and form for that application and click the create new. Once you click that, your applet for the application CI is created. But there is a one more issue that uh, you can see that um, this is configuration table CMDB CI. But your case, you need to use the application table, right? So to see that all the application. So I am going to uh, create one data item. Data item is nothing but the what are the item you are going to use that. So first I am have, I have to in the applet the first option is to choose the data item. So we have to we don't need the CMDB CI table. We need that um, application table. So click the plus icon. So it will be open a new data item. And here I am selecting the list of application. And here uh, you can put the table name, what table name you are looking for. Okay. So I am going to use the CMDB CI PPL. Let me before that, let me check that is there any table or uh, is there any record or not. CMDB CI underscore PPL. So this table have almost 16 records. So in the mobile app, I want to see the 16 record and their details in my mobile apps. So that's why I'm going to generate one um, data item, the call list of application, and it is going to use that CMDB CI PPL. Now, uh, in this application, you can put the, any of this filter. Uh, you can see the class, right? So we can group by the class. So web server inside the web server, we have a nine. So we want to see the nine only nine which have that web server application. So list of web server application so we can say that and then here we can put the class is web server sorry uh, what was that um, class is web server right so put that. so all this uh, once you put all this and then i click that save button so your data item is set so so now the data item will query that 16 item and will show you that uh, in your mobile. Now in that applet, I have to select this uh, data item called list of web server application here. And here I have to, uh, if you want to put any additional filter condition, you can put here or else you, if you already put that here, you can put that. Okay. So something like that. Now, uh, if you see, uh, there are, um, a few option e1 e2 e3 e4 e5 e6 the, this is are all are nothing but let me open one of this application and then I'll tell you that so in this case you can see e1 is we are going to use that uh, name and what are the field we are going to use that name then we are going to use the type so it's not showing so name and uh, maybe class next is that um, what do we have else version we have right so version and then what else we have uh, TCP port these things we are going to use that 
okay now if you see um, uh, there are already uh, mapping with that this name right the class and all those stuffs so we are going to we are going to see the version here so we need to be put the version here okay if you want to change the pattern you can just select that and change that other pattern which is available okay so these are the patterns is available by default you can choose any of this pattern but I am using the default pattern okay so once these things are done uh, there are function and filters we will talk about those stops in our uh, next session but today we are going to build a simple uh, applet so we are just going to click and save that button so this all configuration is all about your list okay and once you click that create the applet you can see that application ci applet is showing here and the data item is showing the list of web server application is showing here okay now um i am just i'm um, changing the name is application web server application okay now in in i if you remember in the initially which select that list and form so uh, along with the list we can select the form so what do we have to go uh, we have to select the form section and here uh, there is a body section inside the body uh, we can put that uh, name and we can put that uh, version so these two things are mapping whenever we will open this ci we will be able to see the name and version and then uh, maybe the tcp port if you want to and type tcp port and type it's not showing okay so these things these three things we want to show so now um, our applet is ready our uh, data item also ready okay so next uh, you we have to do one thing called um, applet launcher we have to create a new applet launcher so click new and then type that applet launcher and select that uh, you can see this application is under the mobile studio click the create option so we are going to create a launcher which help us to uh, launch the application okay so there are already you can see that already predefined launcher is defined um, you can see uh, this is the horizontal and all those stuff so we are going to create a launcher here our our, our purpose so call application um, ci so i'm not putting that um, web server later we can add those so the name we are going to put that application ci here and then um, now we have to select the save button so our application launcher is created uh, it will be added here and you can see that application ci launcher is added now the next thing is that we have to add that e the launcher under the ui section so click the plus icon and you will be able to see that um, all these application uh, uh, all these um, applet name that you have created so we are going to use that uh, web server applic uh, this server application CI and name should be the section name should be uh, web server section okay so our application launcher is created application uh, also created everything is created the now the last thing we have to do is that we have to create that menus application menu where um, we should be able to see that so now you have to go to that um, mobile agent application menu here and then if you see it's under the global application right so we have to um, create here click the here click here option and then it will be now your application move to that global application now we have to create a new tabs called create new tabs and it will be auto pre-populated the mobile agent and now we have to create a new tabs so let's create a new tabs here so we are going to uh, select that applet launcher tab and ok and here uh, we have to label that application ci ok 
and here we have to put that web based application say applet launcher name i think we name that application ci so we have to put that application ci and here there are multiple uh, icons i am putting any of this icon and if you want to change there is a table i'll mention that name so that you can get that and use the table okay and then uh, once you submit that so it will be uh, create one tabs along with that and the tab will be mapped to this uh, agent okay you can see that application ci is mapped here and now uh, we have to put the order call 50 i think i am not able to do okay so that's all about all this configuration for the basic configuration we have done okay so now uh, let me flip to that uh, mobile and see how it looks like while and uh, i am going to open the agent application here and now i share my mobile to that uh, laptop through the airdroid application so let me open this agent application so once i open the agent application it should ask me for um, you can see that this application CI that we created, basically we created one tabs which is showing here. And uh, once I click that web service application, web service applet, this because if you remember that we created one web service applet, right? So once we open that, uh, let me open quickly. So in this applet, we created that uh, web service. Uh, application and once we select that any of these web service uh, this application we will be able to see all these web service um, application which is present which is I think nine web service application and you can see uh, in initially we put the version as a six at the right side and uh, this is the the class name this is the name all this we put as per the template it's showing and whenever we click that it is showing the form so that's how we can show your um, data in your application uh, in your data in your uh, um, in a mobile so we'll talk about more in this uh, in these details and then uh, we can discuss that thank you very much have a great